Hello everybody and welcome to Mozak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. And today I thought I'd do a video on one of our most popular charge points, the Zappi 2. So the Zappi 2 is manufactured by My Energy. It's actually assembled in Lancashire. So um, it's assembled in the UK. It's a British company. You can see interviews with its founders on, on YouTube. They're a great company, great ethos. They have excellent customer support and that's based on our personal experience um, and our customers' experiences. So that's a huge pro for us and hopefully for you as a, the end user as well. So um, overall, an excellent product, great company, um, very sort of innovative company, so highly recommended. So the Zappi 2, uh, firstly, the unit is available in black or white. It's available in 22 kilowatts if you have a three phase connection and seven kilowatts if it's a single phase connection and each of all of those versions are available in tethered, untethered. The tethered version comes with a nice extra long six and a half meter cable which is more than suitable for most applications. It's eligible for the OLEV grants for both the home charge scheme and the workplace charging scheme. So we'll break this video down into a couple of sections. So firstly we'll talk about business charging and then we'll talk about home charging. So why would you want a Zappi for your business? One of the big selling points of the Zappi and what they really push is its ability to work with a solar array. So if you do have solar, it's brilliant. It will monitor how much energy your solar PV system is generating. It will monitor how much your building is using and then whenever there's spare energy, instead of exporting it back to the grid, it will siphon it out and put it into your vehicle. Clouds come out, your PV stops generating, it will slow down that charge. There's a couple of modes that it'll work with where it'll either trickle charge your vehicle and then top that up when there's excess solar, or it can use solar alone, which means you're charging your vehicles for free, or it can be in fast mode where um, it will just charge your vehicle at the max rate possible. And all of these can be controlled via an app, or from the charge point itself. In terms of benefits to a business, charge point isn't locked away at night somewhere. You can put a pin number uh, on the unit itself so that only uh, users with the pin number can activate the charging or change settings. So this is really useful if your business is open 24 seven and you want to restrict who's using it, or if it's a um, car park, which is accessible at night and you don't want unauthorized access to the charge point. In terms of safety, the Zappi has everything. So it has built-in 6 milliamp DC protection, type ARCD and an open pen fault detection device. This means that no earth rods are required and it can be mounted on a metal clad structure. You know, for a lot of industrial units or offices that have metal cladding, the Zappi can be wall mounted within touching distance of this. This isn't true where devices are installed uh, and they need an earth rod. Um, you cannot have an earth rod installation where you can touch the metal clad structure of the building as well. So it meets all the latest safety requirements of the 18th edition. It has high user functionality and it's quite a neat looking uh, charge point whether you go for the tethered or untethered options. Now the tethered option, the cable wraps quite neatly around the unit so it's stored away to be used again. The untethered option is a type 2 universal socket which can be used pretty much with all vehicles in the UK. If you're not sure about type 1 and type 2 connectors, we've got a video, hit the card or check the description below. My Energy app allows you to track your charging uh, for your business so you can see how much users are charging the vehicles and how much that will be costing your business. So for home charge points, why might you consider the Zappi? Well, the first thing is it's the master of micro generation 
and using that to charge your EV. So this could be solar PV or a wind turbine. The Zappi was one of the first products to look at how much your micro generation, such as a solar PV array, is generating. And then instead of that being exported to the grid, it takes that energy, puts it in your vehicle instead. It looks at how much your house is using, how, how much your PV system is generating, and then how much that will be exporting to the grid. And it will take that excess energy and put exactly that amount into the car, meaning you're not losing that energy by exporting it to the grid. It has three different modes, Eco, Eco Plus, and Fast Charging Mode. The Eco and the Eco Plus modes use the PV generation and the charging the car in two slightly different ways. But generally, it's using the excess energy to charge a vehicle for free using the power of the sun. Now we have a lot of customers who, I would say for nine months of the year, do not pay anything as the fuel cost for their vehicle. Because the car is sitting there all through the day and the free electric being generated from their PV panels or wind turbine is being put into the vehicle. They leave it on charge and it's always topped up uh, with that free energy. Incidentally, this is why we believe that for most people, electric vehicles are the future, not hydrogen, because the electricity coupled with some kind of renewable technology liberates you from buying your fuel for your vehicle and your transport from anywhere else. So the future of transport could end up being split between electric vehicles and hydrogen technology once it's been developed to the point where it's um, widely available. However, for a lot of people, EVs are the best choice. So to summarize, most homeowners, it will be the seven kilowatt option unless you happen to be uh, lucky enough to have a three phase supply. For a lot of businesses, the 22 kilowatt option is great because it's a faster charging option. You have tethered and untethered, so you can make your decision on that based on your individual needs. If you do go for the untethered option, there's also an option to use your own cable and lock that into the charge point so it can't be stolen. It's locked into the charge point, so if you have a need for a long cable, um, let's say you have a home with a super long driveway or super big driveway and you want flexibility in parking, or you have a business um, and you want a charge point to service a number of car parking spaces, you can buy an extra long cable, such as a 10 meter cable, or you can actually get special cables made up to crazy lengths and that can be locked into the charge point so it can't be removed by anybody accidentally taken home for example or stolen um, but the charge point effectively then becomes a 10 15 20 meter tethered charge point um, this means that with the range of zappy options and the two color options black and white uh, there's a huge flexibility in your choice of options Obviously, it's an excellent choice if you do have a micro generation technology such as a solar PV array or wind turbine. However, um, if you don't have these, there's still a lot of advantages to the Zappi and the way um, it's installed and the safety device is built in that makes it an excellent choice for your home or business. So we just have a slight digression onto another product that's part of that's manufactured by My Energy. It's part of their product range and can work with the Zappi, which is the Eddy. Now the Eddy does exactly what we've talked about for the Zappi, but for your water tank at home. So it will monitor your solar generation or wind turbine generation. When there's excess energy being exported to the grid, it will take that energy and use it to heat your hot water cylinder via an immersion heater. This can be inter integrated into pretty much any immersion heater setup. So where you have a hot water tank with an immersion heater, the eddy can be used to trigger that. It can be more complicated uh, in some scenarios, but if you just have a standard immersion heater, it's brilliant. So the sun comes out, there's nobody at home. That electricity, instead of being exported back to the grid, is used to heat your hot water tank. The beauty of having a My Energy Zappi 2 and Eddy and the hub 
means that from your phone's app, you can configure and prioritize all the different devices. So at different times of the day, you might decide that you want to prioritize hot water heating. And then at other times of the day, um, you might prioritize your car's energy usage. If it's a dull day and you're getting some PV generation, but not enough to charge the vehicle, e.g. less than a kilowatt, that's still enough to run the immersion heater at a low level. And you can change the priorities whenever you want. So if you have a micro generation technology such as solar PV or wind turbine, you have an electric car and you have an immersion heater tank, I would highly recommend investing in all those technologies because they work seamlessly together. So I hope the video was useful. If you liked it, give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of future videos. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.